1.9 introduced one of the most controversial additions to Minecraft, and that is the Elytra. And once you get a pair, there really isn't any point to walking anymore. So I set out to upgrade one of Minecraft's other modes of transportation, the horse. If you're all about efficiency, then this probably isn't the video for you, but this will overhaul horses and make them so much nicer to use. The first upgrade to horses is done by a mod called Superb Steeds. This one overhauls how horse stats work in the first place. There we go. The first thing you'll notice is that horses no longer need a saddle to be ridden. This means you don't have to have found a dungeon to be able to ride a horse. But that doesn't make them useless. Equipping a saddle is the new way to upgrade your horse. So breeding for hours and hours is no longer the way to get those stats up. Instead, you'll notice there is now a meter for movement speed and jump height. And the way that you upgrade those stats is simply by riding the horse. So the longer you ride, the better it'll become. Beyond this new piece of GUI, we also have some upgrades to the original one as well. One of the tedious things about horses is trying to figure how good they are. You gotta tame one, and then you gotta ride it, and then you gotta jump, and then you gotta compare that to the other horses, and it's just it's just really annoying. Fortunately, I got a mod to help with that. Horse Stats Vanilla gives you a very clear and simple guide to tell you all the information you need to know about your horses. You've got your speed, your jump height, your health, and it's even color coordinated. Next up, you'll notice this slot here. Now, it looks weird because of my resource pack, but it works just fine. What it does, though, is hold a new item that's made for horses called the horseshoe. Now, you know, horseshoes gotta have horseshoes. What? Horseshoes gotta have horseshoes. And if I equip it onto my horse, you'll actually see it makes the horse go faster. And depending on the material, you'll see that the stats change for different values. And while we're on the topic of horse attire, let's talk about another cosmetic. I'm just gonna go ahead and craft myself some beautiful horse armor. Oh, that was actually a bad combo. That, uh... Actually, that doesn't look too bad, okay. But one of the reasons I like the way this looks is because of a mod called Dyed. You'll notice if I put on vanilla dyed armor, there isn't really an overlay. But that was not the case with vanilla horse armor. Dyed changes how horse armor displays, making it match with player armor a lot more. But maybe your horse has more than one style. That is where a mod called Horse Armor Stand comes into play. No longer will you need to store your a million golden iron horse armors in a chest. That was a really hard sentence to say. And yes, you'll notice there is a name tag, but I don't think that's supposed to happen, so hopefully that gets fixed. One thing I will never get tired of is pushing armor stands around. Another annoying thing about 1.9 is the copious amounts of horse armor you find in end city chests, which at that point aren't very helpful. If only there was a mod that allowed you to craft horse armor so that way you could actually use it at a point in time and it would be relevant in your progression. Oh wait, there is! And that's thanks to craftable horse armor and saddle. You heard me right, we get both of them. Another problem that players have with horses is the lack of armor. You got leather, iron, gold, diamond, but players get netherite. Where is the netherite for horses? Well, you get that now with simple netherite horse armor. Just as you'd expect, netherite horse armor is more powerful than diamond with a whole new two armor hit points. That didn't make any sense. With a whole new two do... D ugh, with an extra two protection points. Now we finally have armor for all the material types, if you don't count chainmail. Not that anybody was asking for that. This mod is by far the smallest change on this list, and that is better Mount HUD. Now in vanilla Minecraft, when you get on top of a horse, you can't see your hunger, but that is not the case with this mod. This is really helpful if you're in combat and you're fighting someone, but you can't tell if you can heal. With this one installed, you will be able to tell. These last two are by far my favorite, but for that, we have to go on a little bit of a field trip. Ironically, using a horse can be incredibly annoying. Passing through all the leaves in a forest, it, it's probably more useful just to walk. Leave Me Alone is by far the best fix I I've seen for this. Now we can just pass right through all of the leaves. The mod is smart enough to know when you're walking or riding, so that way you only pass through when you're mounted. This place should do just fine. All I needed was a body of water, so that way I could show off the best mod on this list, and that is horse buff. Now by far the worst part about horses is that they're so hard to get across water, but horse buff, oh horse buff fixes that. Look at this. Oh it's beautiful. I can swim! Yeah, this is... This is a game changer for horses, for sure. Have you ever seen a disappearing horse before? Watch this. Wah! Another incredible part of horse buff is the fact that when you look down, the horse isn't there, meaning you can see stuff below you. Is there a cliff? Now I can tell. Oh, that was really close. Or how about that weird rubber banding thing? You know what? They, they went ahead and removed that too. Oh, it's so smooth. It's beautiful. I bet the other thing you haven't noticed is that my horse hasn't windied this whole time. That is another thing this mod removes. And say I want to dismount my horse real quick, go off an adventure, I'll, I'll be back in a bit, horse. Horse buff makes it so that when you're not riding the horse, it will not move. I, I'm, I told you. It's not going to move. Why are you still here? I just realized I haven't given a name to this horse. I kind of want to do that. 
Oh, which one of these is, uh, which one of these is mine? Oh, wait, I have a solution. There he is. Come over here, boy. Yeah, what a good horsey. Oh, that is such a nice feature. That is the work of Eugene's whistle and spur. Oh, it's so nice. If you don't know where your horse is or you're too lazy to go get him, all you have to do is call him over with the whistle button. I can't keep calling you horse. I got to give you a name. And I think I got the perfect one. You ready for this? This is this is his name. His name is subscribe. And that's just about it. That's all the mods I got today. Hopefully your adventures on horse are a lot easier now that you got these mods. Not all of them are compatible, so it's gonna be some trial and testing, but if you get any one, they should work. I'm trying something new. I'm gonna try to get a mods video out every day this week. So from Monday, what day is it? Hold on, let me check. Today's Monday, so tomorrow would be Tuesday. So from this Tuesday to next Tuesday, I'm gonna try to get a mod video out every day of the week. It's going to be a challenge. But with that, I bid you lovely people farewell. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.